the term temporary permanent pacemaker will seem to be a contradiction of terms but it is a reality one of the earliest reports of using temporary permanent pacemaker was in the setting of an infected cardiac implantable electronic device CIED in a pacemaker dependent patient in such a patient a temporary pacemaker wire may be required for long periods during antibiotic treatment during this period loss of capture and under sensing are common over the time with temporary pacemaker wires and patient mobility is restricted it was in this situation that an externalized permanent active fixation pacemaker lead connected to a permanent pacemaker generator for temporary pacing was implemented it has the benefit of improved lead stability and greater patient mobility as well as comfort in that report of the 47 patients who underwent lead extraction for CIED infection over a 2 year period 23 were pacemaker dependent and underwent temporary permanent pacemaker implantation a permanent pacemaker lead was implanted in the right ventricle via the internal jugular vein and connected to pulse generator which was secured externally at the base of the neck usage period was 3 to 45 days with a mean usage of 18 days without loss of capture or sensing failure in any patient 12 patients were either discharged home or to a nursing facility with the temporary permanent pacemaker until completion of antibiotic treatment and reimplantation of a new permanent pacemaker a recent retrospective chart review study of 126 patients who underwent temporary pacing compared temporary permanent pacing with balloon tipped temporary pacing between 2014 and 2022 both groups had similar baseline characteristics subclavian vein was the most common site of access for the temporary permanent pacemaker cohort while it was femoral vein for the balloon tipped temporary pacemaker group as expected ambulation was possible only in the temporary permanent pacemaker group that too in 55.6% only lead dislodgement venous thromboembolism local hematoma and access site infections were less frequently encountered in the temporary permanent pacemaker group 36.6% of the temporary permanent pacemaker group were monitored outside the icu setting there was no significant difference in the pacemaker related adverse events among temporary permanent pacemaker patients based on their in hospital setting